Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS Chromebook here. This one is an ASUS Chromebook C202 uh, 202s model and in this video I'm going to show you guys and take you on to the step by step how to open it up and how to replace your battery. If your batteries are not holding any more charge and you want to replace your battery just follow this video and you should get your battery removed within 5 to 10 minutes. It's really simple and the only tool that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set I use the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best screw bits out there which are S2 class steel. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. And for the opening tool, you can get the pro version of this one. They give you the whole bunch of opening tools and pliers and tweezers. Or you can simply grab a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening electronics. It's really hard to scratch because of the soft edges. All right, with these two items on hand, then we're going to start uh, unscrewing the bottom cover, bottom screws. Also, you will need some sort of uh, plastic or pliers or any plastic rod. I will show you in a bit why. At the bottom cover, we're going to remove all the screws that you can see at the bottom here, including the two on the middle back. So go ahead and start removing all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, I realize only 1% of my viewers are subscribing to my channel. If you find my content helpful, yeah, if you want to support the channel, you can just by subscribe and click like button on my videos. I would really appreciate it and it will be a great support to the channel. Alright, once you remove the screws at the bottom cover, then you want to open up the laptop a little bit, just like this, and now you want to grab the opening tool or the guitar pick and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover just like that about one or two millimeters inward and now what I want to do what you want to do is just twist it towards the outside like that and you want to see the cover coming up just do the same thing go all around in the front you want to hear those clicks do the side go all the way back to the corner do the left once you did the left and the back side, you want to grab it from the front. You don't want to yank it up because there's a, those two, there are two ribbon cables. You want to lift it up and the back end is just going to get loose. You want to open it up just like that. You don't want to be careful with this cable. This is for the trackpad and the flex cable for the screen. To remove the this cable right here, you want to stick your finger right at the back where the, this black cover is and you want to lift it 90 degrees just like that just focus once you lift it up 90 degrees just slide back the cover you see this cover right here just like a lift and bring it back down for the keyboard is the same thing you want to put your fingernails at the back and lift it up 90 degrees and pull back the flex cable. I'm gonna show you right now. Maybe I think it didn't focus. So this is the palm rest. So those two clips are these ones right here. This one over here and this one over here. To lift it up, you just put your finger at the back and lift it up 90 degrees towards the ceiling and become loose so the flex cable can just slide out. Same thing with here, you just wanna lift it up 90 degrees and the flex cable will slide out and then you can just close it leave it there all right now that we removed the cover right here the battery is right over here there's a battery connector right there and there's a flex cable connecting the power usb audio to the main board so to disconnect this one is the same thing as this clips but this side is white so just lift up the white cover 90 degrees this side too 90 degrees pull out the cable pull out the cable Make sure you don't uh, don't put it the other way around. Make sure you keep the orientation. Uh, you should see on your side, you should say in here M1, that means motherboard. And this side, you should say another letter, which mine is like a really, can't even see what it says. Anyway, 
Once you remove that, uh, we're going to disconnect the battery just by pulling this jack backward. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be the plastic. I don't want to use metal. Lift up the cables in the air a little bit. And then once you're in the air a little bit, you, have, you can put your finger right in there. And then slide the jack back. And there you go. The jack only goes one way in. With those pins that are exposed facing up. On the bottom side, there's no pins or anything like that. All right, once you disconnect the battery, you're going to start removing this extra heat dissipator right here by doing one, two, three screws. Remember the black, two tiny black ones goes right over here. And then you can go ahead and lift up this. Heat. There's a little thermal paste. So once you remove it, you might want to clean up this heat paste, thermal paste here. And then we're going to continue removing the screws for the battery. Two at the bottom, one right there, one right away here. There you go, one there. Over here. And over here. Once you remove the battery, just simply lift up the battery right there. Here it says ASUS is a 7.7 .7 volt. This one is a 4800 milliamp hour battery. The model for this one, it's a pretty long number. I'll write it down in there. I'll try to find the link for this one. The model is C21N1530. So that's the model for this one. Once you get the new battery in, make sure you have the battery soft side facing down. Bring it over. Just set it down. And then you can just go ahead and slide the jack right inside there and leave it in there and then again to clean up the thermal paste just grab some workshop towel some isopropyl alcohol and remove the thermal paste on this corner on top of the heat pipe okay and then you can just apply any type of thermal paste you like I'll put Arctic MX4, just one tiny drop right there. And put the heat sink right over. And first put these two screws to hold it right in place. And the screw crossover here. Now you're gonna finish up by putting the rest of the screw, starting from the top side of the battery. Go all around it. Wherever you see the screw hole, just put it in there right over here right over there i am missing a screw there should be a one more screw right over here i don't know if i missed it somewhere or what happened to it but there should be one more screw going right over here so if you get that one screw i don't know if in the video maybe somebody opened it before but there's a missing screw you should find it and i don't have it here if you don't put it, nothing's gonna happen, it's not a big deal, but you can just grab one and put it right there. Then grab the flex cable, slide it to this side, all the way in, lock it down, open the lock, slide it right underneath, make sure it goes all the way in and just lock it in place. And the next step is to grab the top cover, just, just set it down on top, bring it down. Open up the locks, both of them. Grab the flex cable, slide it right in there. The flex cable has to go in 45 degrees in and then set it toward the motherboard first. First bring it in 45 degrees towards the pins, all the way in and then against the motherboard and then lock it down. Same thing with this flex cable. This one can go straight flat, slide underneath and lock it down. And then bring the palm rest down. Align it on top and start pinching the corner, the front. Make sure you hit those clicks, go all the way around. In the back mid, just click those out. Once you did that, you should be done and set to go. And the last thing would be to just grab the bottom screws and screw them down. And you should have your new battery ready to go. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that thumbs up button. And if you have any requests or questions, you know where to leave them. And I'll try to answer them as soon as I can.
Again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.